in Gemini using my astrology dice. And as you can see here, I have Dandelion as the card that I've selected from my Seed and Sickle deck. And what is Dandelion going to be for? Well, as you can see, the dice are in the third house in Gemini, where we currently have Mars in transit, which is kind of feeling hot and aggressive. Well, I, I think it is saying, the dandelion root is saying, number 33, that the hormones are, are kind of fighting for balance and, and maybe need to be thought of in terms of a more natural approach. And dandelion, in fact, dandelion tea is something I use for managing a little extra water weight. Dandelion is also a root that comes up in the fall, which we are now going into. And it's also a reminder that perhaps how we go about looking at ourselves hormonally, medically, how we ingest and take care of our bodies is perhaps in a process of change. The 33, or in this case, it's going to be 333 because we're talking the house, Gemini, the third house, Dandelion, th the 33rd card. And so we're talking about the divine number of 333, working together, collaboration, partnership. And another way to think of a three is like a horseshoe, how it plods forward. And not always in the way you want. It's kind of big and clunky. It's kind of, it's kind of a little bigger than us. Information. Okay, and today also one of the things that came to my mind that I thought was fascinating was church. How we feel about, and this is going to be related to to information, how at one time, how we went to church was we gathered in such a way that we met in homes and, and communed together. And so I'm not exactly sure where the big buildings and the big churches came from, but we are going back, and, and this is uh, this chart you can see, and I'm going to just kind of tip it up so you have a bigger view of it. And you can see that it is just the regular chart, but everything is down in the lower section of the chart. So you have the, the, the upper hemisphere and the lower hemisphere. This is going to be about personal work in medical because this is in Virgo and North Node. So it is saying that we do need to kind of look at where the destiny of things is going. And I know for myself that as a stage four cancer thriver, that I have had to really rethink how I get my medical care. The Virgo aspect of it, the medical details. And you will notice in Gemini, this is an earth element. Now, when we read medical astrology, one of the things we are looking for is the four elements. We want to kind of think about what's there and what's not there. Well, one of the things about this is this is really strongly saying that both air and earth together must be put in such a way that the details are correct. And what I'm wondering in this sense then is, is the way we're going to go about medical, the information we believe we understand, is it changing? I believe it is. And I know for myself, my cancer stage four, it is not treatable by medical standards at this time. What they know about it is that I have no thyroid, but because of tissue that was left in my body and not adequately removed, I ended up with a tumor in my cervical node, and it is producing thyroid. Now, I have a lot of mixed feelings about that. I have the sense that, you know, it's cancer, and it's uncomfortable, and it's kind of scary. But then in a way, I'm really grateful, because it's reducing how much toxic medication I have to take pharmaceutical, because there really is no substitute in the medication that I take. One of the side effects is it causes cancer. It causes lymphoma, which is what I've been diagnosed with, which is not what I had. So with all of that, now in the personal, we're talking third house. Again, information. So be aware 
know where to ask. And, you know, and if you're not getting, and a lot of us, when we go to the doctor, we get told, okay, it's time for you to take some hormones. Well, dandelion is also going to really strongly represent that hormone aspect, that personal process that we get into when we go into the doctor. This board today is suggesting very much how we go about getting information to take care of our bodies is very much going to change. And with that, I thank you so much today for joining me here.